All right, welcome everyone. Today, we're diving into an incredibly fascinating topic that I think is gonna blow your mind. Hydrogen fuel cells. You know, when we talk about renewable energy, many people imagine solar panels or wind turbines, but hydrogen fuel cells are right there, ready to revolutionize the energy landscape. Think of it like the Swiss army knife of clean energy. It can power everything from your car to your home and so much more. Wait, wait. So just to be clear, you're saying that we can power stuff and the only, um, byproduct is water? Like no crazy fumes or anything? That sounds incredible. Exactly, it's super cool. So what happens is hydrogen gas enters the anode side of the fuel cell. And at the anode, we have a catalyst, usually platinum, that splits hydrogen molecules into protons and electrons. Picture it like splitting an atom, but on a much safer and cleaner level. Wow, yeah. I was watching this sci-fi movie the other day where they split atoms, and it caused a huge explosion. So are we like, hmm, safe here? Like, no nuclear meltdowns or anything? Ha ha, no meltdowns here, I promise. We're just breaking down molecules in a controlled environment. So the protons travel through a special membrane. Think of it like an exclusive nightclub where only the cool guys get in. The electrons, they take the scenic route, traveling through an external circuit, creating an electric current. Oh, so the electrons kind of have a party while the protons are. Hmm, getting in the club? This is starting to make sense. Exactly. And when all that fun is happening, at the cathode, we have another catalyst where the protons and electrons reunite with oxygen and boom, they produce water and heat as byproducts. This process, my friend, is what makes hydrogen fuel cells so appealing for clean energy applications. So it's like this big reunion at the cathode, but um, what about the power side of things? You mentioned they can be used for all sorts of applications. Are we talking about cars or, hmm, like, what else? Oh, absolutely. Cars are just the tip of the iceberg. Hydrogen fuel cells are super versatile. They can power stationary energy systems like homes or businesses, even portable devices. Imagine your laptop running on a mini hydrogen fuel cell. They even have applications in buses and trucks for public transportation. It's a real game changer. So we can all potentially power our devices with, um, just water? What about the production of hydrogen itself? Is that sustainable too? Great question. Hydrogen can be produced from a variety of sources, like water or natural gas, which enhances energy security and reduces dependence on fossil fuels. However, the common way of making hydrogen through a process called steam methane reforming can generate CO2. So we have to look at cleaner methods like electrolyzing water using renewable energy, which gives us green hydrogen. It's still a work in progress though. Green hydrogen? That sounds so eco-friendly, like a superhero of energy. But what about the cost? I heard it can be pretty expensive to set up hydrogen fuel cells, right? Oh, definitely. The materials, especially the platinum catalysts, can drive up costs. It's one of the biggest challenges the industry faces. That's why there's ongoing research into finding cheaper alternatives and improving hydrogen production and distribution methods. So we're like, on the edge of something huge here, huh? I mean, it sounds like hydrogen fuel cells could change everything. Absolutely. Despite these hurdles, hydrogen fuel cells are genuinely poised to revolutionize multiple sectors. They're that promising technology that could lead us to a cleaner energy future. Just visualize a world where our cars, homes, and entire cities run without emissions. It's within our reach. Wow, I mean, that really gets me excited. So what's next? How can people get involved or learn more about hydrogen technology? Fantastic question. I encourage everyone to keep exploring, whether it's through channels like Renee Energy or local initiatives. The more we engage with these concepts and advocate for sustainable solutions, the closer we get to making them a reality. All right, I'm totally on board. Just one last thing. Hmm, are there any new trends we should watch out for in renewable energy? Oh, 
tons. But let's save that for another episode. There's always something fresh happening in the world of renewable energy. So thanks for joining everyone. I hope you found today enlightening. If you did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more episodes on the exciting developments in hydrogen and beyond. Stay tuned. Sounds great. I can't wait for the next episode.